What up, YouTube? It's Dave Manic One. I've got another knife for you today. This is another Bad Blood Knife Sean Kendrick design. Uh, this is called the Razor Hoof. Really cool, different design. Fixed blade here. Length of this guy is eight and a half inches. Blade length is three and five eighths inches. There, eight CR fourteen on the blade steel. There, uh, it is a chisel ground, but it's a funky chisel ground, uh, being that this side, of course, is flat, uh, but this is a hollow ground. You have a swedge up at the top, at the edge of the blade here. You see that here, of course the logo. Uh, but you have these little circular cutouts or half circles in here. And uh, one of the things, I mean, it really adds a lot as far as the aesthetics to the blade and the, all this going on around here with the with the swedge, the kind of karambit curve type of deal got going on here, hollow grime, you know and the chisel backside or the chiseled hollow grind really cool they added these uh, little cut half cutouts there but the one thing I noticed is that right at these cutouts and I don't know if you could tell uh, they're not actually inside that radius is not actually sharpened uh, only the flat uh, flat parts of the edge are sharpened and the radiuses are not so whether or not that may hinder the cutting performance on it uh, as far as maybe let's say if you're cutting rope or something like that and it getting caught in there that may or may not be an issue I haven't tried to cut rope with it yet uh, I'm gonna be doing a, another a chopping type of video or something like that so maybe when I do that video I'll actually test this too and kind of update you guys uh, but as far as the knife is concerned it's a very re it's a really cool knife uh, very aesthetically pleasing between the finish on the blade the funky cuts on the, on the blade and how that was done uh, the red and black G10 uh, with this pattern, I don't know what you would call this pattern. Uh, it's not really random because it actually it, it actually serves a po uh, purpose ergonomically, but it all depends on your, the size hand you have there. Uh, when I grab this, it, my hands seem to fit in those little grooves right there. Um, top part of my fingers fit in that groove, that groove, and that groove, and that's really comfortable for me. If I had to choke up on it, um, it's still pretty comfortable. Uh, I feel a little bit of hot spots in it right there. Uh, but you know I could live with that like I said I was just really uh, what made me buy this knife is just it's not like I had a purpose for this it's just the shape and design uh, really intrigued me I'm a big fan of Sean Kendrick so that it was pretty much a must-have in my book there so like I said we have a G10 scales the red and black there got pins so you can't take the scales off of there uh, lanyard hole of course in the back uh, jumping up at the top same style jimping here that they have on their folding knives uh, it's there's plenty of groove in there in it, but it's not going to burn your finger up too bad. Uh, also, some jimping towards back. There's like a, there's a, a pair of, uh, like you know there's four little uh, cut cutouts there for that. Excuse me, four cutouts there, kind of spaced. Little pit, uh, bit of a point there. I don't know if it would serve as far as a glass breaker because it's not exactly 100% sharp, but I'm sure you'd be able to smash out a piece of glass or something, and if you really needed to, and it must. Uh, in a situation so pretty cool I'm gonna go over the sheath with you real quick here uh, retention on the sheath is actually really good they did a good job with it it's formed in with the G10 scale design here uh, looks really really nice there it's got a kind of a tech lock type of deal here but it's like a belt loop and uh, as far as the measurements go if we were gonna modify this so you could fit your tech lock in here uh, I know the, I measured this this point from here to here is exactly two inches from here to here is an inch and a half and this is kind of it's almost two inches or something uh, almost two inches so I don't know I haven't had a tech lock I don't have a tech lock here handy to see if you can kind of fudge it a little bit to see if the tech lock would fit in there in any configuration I believe from here to here is two inches so I don't know on a full size tech lock if that would fit and I don't have a smaller tech lock handy. Uh, to see the measurements in between the spacing on the fasteners there for that uh, but this is this this is not a bad setup right here it's very nice the whole thing is very aesthetically pleasing uh, the quality is there the design may not be to everybody's taste but like I said it's just I'm, I'm I always gravitate towards these different designs and whatnot so this was definitely a must-have in my book there uh, as far as where you can get these guys at or the set right here you can get it at Knife Center they have it uh, the price on that guy at knife sale, excuse me, knife center is fifty three ninety five. Uh, Tax strike as usual always carries the uh, bad blood knives, and they have it there for a couple bucks left, less fifty one ninety five. So 
really cool so if you're interested in something different uh, this is definitely not a bad choice there especially if you're a fan of uh, Bad Blood Knives like I am and Sean Kendrick's design so all in all really cool cool looking knife you can pop that guy out right here slides out very accessible let's take another look at it real quick uh, I really like that Bad Blood Knife logo it's really nice and the red and black G10 really look, I mean, all together with this, the finish on this blade and the, on the contrasting onto the uh, red and black just really do it for me. Of course, on the back side, it's going to have your Hallmark cutlery deal with the funky, let me see here. Yep, that same 88011BK, eight, whatever, stainless, whatever deal on there. You can see that. So anyway, guys, that's it. Sean Kendrick, Razor Hoof. If you have any questions, just post them below. I'll answer them for you. Appreciate all your support as usual, guys. You have a good one. Peace.